What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to the first ever episode of Road to Perfection. Now in this series, basically what I'm doing is working my way up from bronze, into silver, into gold, and then hopefully in in form. And it's got to be Spanish, basically you've seen a Spanish team in real life that dominate the Euro and world stage for nearly a decade now. So that's what I'll be aiming to achieve. Now Danny Mallow is a keeper will start at the bottom of the barrel with the bronze players now. In order to upgrade them into silvers, I have to win a game. I'll upgrade one into silver, just the one player. I've got to pick that player, obviously. He gets upgraded into a silver. It could be a silver or a rare silver. But when you go into gold, it has to be a non-rare gold. And then into a rare gold. So if you've got any players to suggest along this journey, please do it in the comments section below. Now the defence is solid. Rose is the right back. Tony Lau, it's centre back. We've got... That guy, <laughs> centre back, he's got true lawyers or something like that. For Fuentes is our left back. So it's a pretty pacey defence. It's solid and hopefully against the overpowered teams. I've never actually played bronze but I know, I think it's Benzia, is he a bronze? <laughs> I'm not too sure. But I know there's some very overpowered teams. Now La Fuente is our left midfielder. 89 pace, decent enough. Decent enough. You can't really go wrong with that amount of pace in a bronze team. Portillo is our left-sided cam. Decent amount of pace, 75, 66 dribbling. So it's not too bad. I mean, what can you expect from a bronze team? Centre mid, we have Barcelona B player, Javi Espinosa. Now his defence stat isn't that good, so I'm expecting him to basically play centre forward. He'll not be there in defence, so the defence has to be strong enough to cope with counter-attacks. Now, David De Paula... He is our right-sided cam. He's actually got an inform on this game, so just show, goes to show how good some of the bronze players can play in real life. Now at right mid, we have a quite pacey right midfielder in Alvaro Ray, 83. He'll probably be the first player I replace because I'm not too keen on him, to be honest. Not a good amount of pace, and his stats are really bad. <laughs> but this guy up front, 89 pace. It is Ray cool. That guy, he looks a tank, and I'll tell you, he plays like a tank. The guy, he's constantly on the shoulder of the fence. He's looking to get in behind. He's like Chicharito, basically, but a bit more skillful. I don't really know how you, that works with a bronze player, but his movement is sensational. When you get the ball at the feet, it's very hard to get it off him. Now into my first game, and there's the overpowerness right there. Benzia. And Dembele. It's going to be a hard game straight off the bat. And hopefully I can come out with a win. So I can actually get this kicked into gear. And get my first silver play on straight from the off. Look at that strike. Deflexing that comes so close to going in. Deflexing actually hits the post. Then it is Rako's turn to test the goalkeeper. Great little run there. No defender getting near him. Had a bit of a brain fart. Had a shot. Don't know why I had that shot. But straight after that. Actually fell behind, and it is Yasin Benzia striking that into the far side of the net. Couldn't really get anywhere near him, and it got a little worse straight after. Again, Benzia breaking through. You can't stop Benzia. And what the fuck is my keeper doing there? It's literally a one mile an hour header. He could have walked across there, had a cup of tea, and just picked the ball up. But Portillo did track me back from the dead. Great strike into the far side. It was a nice little roulette to come in. Obviously the defender was holding A. He couldn't really get anywhere near us. And if you hold A like that when someone's coming in the box and they do a skill move or they do a chop. You'll just get sold short. A bit like that. And Portillo single-handedly brings me back in this game. Before it was the turn of Reiko. That's a pretty decent finish once he gets it. Right foot, left foot. The keeper probably could have saved that. Now I honestly didn't expect that to go in. 39 minutes gone. I've brought it back from 2-0 down. Now it's 2-2. We're going to the second half. And he's a ball here offside. La Fuente does put it in the net. I probably would have scored that. But as you can see on the replay, it's ruled out for offside. Just. It was very close. And this game, from there, went into extra time. He tried to counter-attack, but Fuente has had other ideas. Great strike. Right in that top corner. And he won this game for me. That's a great strike. Had to defend against some... Pretty decent counter-attacks after that, I've got to say. But it's a great way to kick off this series with a win. And that allows me to upgrade a player. 3-2 win there for Wentners. 
116th minute winner. So that's a great win for me. Great start. And the player that I will be upgrading is Alvaro Ray. I didn't really like him in the game. As I said at the start, his stats were poor. So I've upgraded him. And there you can see there is CC. And CC will play his first game for me in the next episode. Now I'll look to get this out on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So it's a weekly... F wait. It's a good series. <laughs> and it'll be out consistently. And I hope you guys like it. If you've got any input, please share. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.